JJ the CPA here. As it relates to the stimulus bill, here's what I want you to maybe focus in on is the mechanics of what is in this bill. The mechanics of PPP2, the mechanics are related to the tax credits, the employee retention credit, the sick leave uh, credits. We already know how those things are calculated because we have that already in play for 2020. The mechanics of the bill has changed it a little bit to our benefit. PPP2, we have a great precedence of how that works. There's been some tweaks to it to get PPP2. As it relates to the unemployment, there was already this federal level of unemployment that was paid out for gig workers, independent contractors, and those that are on unemployment. We have all been paid, or if we qualified for it, the stimulus checks. Why does that matter? All the things that are in the stimulus bill, even though it has not been signed into law right here, December 24th, what we need to focus in on in the interim between now and when it gets signed is the mechanics of it. What does that mean? So for PPP2, for the employee retention credit, the sick leave credits, and understanding on your unemployment, is that going to be something that you qualify? Where do you apply for it? How do you recertify on the stimulus checks? Go on the IRS website, um, ensuring if you're able to log into your account that you have the right address on file. There's things you can do, these things, to be ready for when it's signed into law. So as a CPA practicing for going on 28 years, I deal with Congress as it relates to paying attention to what's going on for the tax law. So the IRS doesn't make up the law. You know that. It's Congress. So the House and the Senate, the White House, I'm involved in that triangle as it relates to following it and the information and then knowing what we're seeing as a momentum. So I teach CPAs across the nation and from Seattle to uh, Atlanta to New York, you name it, okay? And also I put together a monthly show for a national organization as it relates to what's going on right now. And here's the thing, this isn't all going to get scrapped, okay? It might end up with more unemployment, more stimulus checks, but the bottom has been, in essence, placed, the, de the, the, the denominator, if you will, the foundation, right? So the bill's been put together. House and Senate have agreed on it, okay, which is huge. You know that. And now here's the foundation. What may change is, yes, maybe the percentage in the employee retention credit goes from 70% to some other percentage. The sick leave, sick leave credit, maybe there's a different tweak on on the PPP2. What's important for you though is to stay focused on being ready and prepared that when this is signed into law, you have everything ready to go. So many, many other people, okay, are not paying attention or they think, well, I shouldn't do anything until it's signed into law. Wrong. Get prepared. All that would happen is, okay, so it doesn't happen. I think the likelihood of that is small. Well, then you were prepared. Right. But PPP2, the unemployment, the stimulus checks, right, the EIDL. Right. OK. And is these tax credits, these things all are existing. Right. They're just tweaking the rules related to it and the qualifications. Get your stuff ready. So go to my two playlists. I have one that's just stimulus, the new stimulus. And I have one that's called PPP2. I have one on unemployment. Look at my playlist and be preparing yourself because it's going to happen, okay? It's just to what amount or to what percentages, etc. but it's going to happen. And I'll tell you what for sure is going to happen is PPP2. So get your books in order, get your payroll in order, get things ready to rock so that as soon as it's ready to go, you are first in line. That's what I'm doing on this channel here to help you. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. All right. Have a great one.